Lasky is, uh, a, uh, I found out he's actually a key role in the production, um, in, in the project. He uh, is basically uh, one of the leads in, the, uh, in, in what we're doing here. The story kind of centers on him and he's kind of, he's halfway through his, his year at the, the academy. And it's all about him trying to fit in with, with what's being taught and what's being fed to him in class and on the, uh, in training and in, in all the training sessions. And, and he is having quite a hard time coming to terms with what he's actually learning and what he's led to believe is, is, is right. So there is a, a, a big collision and, and a, you know, they, they, he's not really clicking with everything he's being fed. So the story is kind of focusing on him and how he's trying to, you know, trying his hardest to work out what is right and what he's believing. And, you know, I really did relate to him. I found everybody, a lot of uh, teenagers themselves can relate to the character. Basically, they've just taken a teenager from the real world and put him a couple of hundred years in the future. It's uh, all about his life and kind of, um, you know, trying to fit in and trying to work out where, you know, where your, your place in this world and, and, you know, what am I going to do when I'm older? It's that kind of, that's what this story is kind of focusing on. It's that uh, uh, coming of age story. So I kind of read it and I was like, yep, yeah, I've been there. I'm sure a lot of our viewers have been there as well. So. That's uh, it's just great to be part of something like this, you know. Kyla is uh, she's one of um, she's one of Thomas Lasky's friends, uh, so to speak. They uh, have a bit of a they have this kind of thing going where um, she they both have different um, ways of looking at what's happening here at the at the academy. So she agrees with the teachings. Lasky's not really agreeing with them, and uh, even though they have this kind of flirtatious kind of back and forth bickering um, it becomes this kind of tradition for them to kind of argue quite a bit about who's right and who's wrong trying to prove each other wrong and right. Anna is great. Anna Popwell is awesome we get along really well she'll probably deny that but I think we get along really well she thinks I pick on her a lot um, but Anna's very experienced she's very professional and uh, I've learned quite a bit from her on this on this job which is which is great. Daniel was a big dude. He, uh, I think he, uh, I think they made this this role for him. Uh, yeah, he's a tall guy. I actually remember when we first got to meet him, and everyone's kind of like, "This guy is huge. Like, this guy is really big. You know, like I'm five nine. This guy is like over six foot." And I'm just going like, "This guy's huge." And he's like, "Yeah, I'm tall." And Cat, I remember Cat looking up at him, going, "Gee, you're so tall!" Like, and everyone's just cracking up. And she was just obsessed with the fact that there was this guy over six foot in the room. So. Yeah, he was a great guy though. He's, uh, he's a lot of fun. On set, he comes in, you know, in the morning. He's like, good morning. Okay, first set up. Let's do it. You do like one rehearsal. Let's just shoot it. You know, I trust the actors. Let's just do it. We'll shoot it. And, you know, I got to see, just quietly got to see some of this, just, you know, a few things here and there. And everything just looks sick. Like, everything's turned out so well. Um, and his other projects that he worked on, like H Plus and stuff. Everything just looks great. He's, he's, uh, I can't wait to see, you know, more of his stuff. The Halo franchise is so big, and I think people underestimate sometimes how, how big it is. Um, I think, personally for me, I think I would love for the fans to accept what we're doing here and, and you know, what we've been working on. Um, we're not, I think maybe they're expecting something, and they're not gonna, I think, I think what we're doing here is we're actually we're making something that is gonna be different to what these guys are expecting. They see Master Chief maybe, you know, from a leaked photograph and they might think that the entire story is going to revolve around him. When, uh, in actual fact, we're, we're shooting something that takes place quite before the next Halo game. So, I think it's going to be great. People haven't really seen anything like this with Halo before. Um, I don't think we've ever really had brought, you know, emotion to the story and drama and people's, you know, real lives and growing up. So, I think, uh, I think for me, I would love people just to watch it and, and enjoy it.